Hello, once again, my friends. So good to see you. I am here to share another special book with you. This one is called The Girl Who Thought in Pictures, the story of Dr. Temple Grandin. Yes, this is a real scientist. And in this story, we're finding out how her childhood influenced her into becoming the great scientist that uh, she became. This story was written by Julia Finley Mosca. If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low, if you don't quit, quite fit in, there's a name you should know. Temple Grandin's the name. Her and her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowgirl's true story. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple. Hooray! Unique from the start, an unusual girl. She loved spinning in circles and watching things twirl. But some things she hated, like certain loud sounds or bright, crowded places, large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull and tug, something else that she hated, a big squeezy hug. A shy loner, this temple, but when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad, quite a tantrum she'd throw, kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yes, all the three and no one did she speak. She'd never been normal, was what some did say. Her brain's not quite right. You must send her away. Away, not my temple, her mother proclaimed. We will figure this out. You should all be ashamed. Then, little by little, through some time she balked, Special teachers helped Temple, and one day she talked. And that thing with her brain, it was autism, you see. She was different, not less. They all finally agreed. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind, she'd see dozens of photos buzz on by. When the time came for school, let's just say that was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple. How crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over and over and over and over until finally she snapped yes she did lost her cool threw a book at a kid and was kicked right out of school no one really got temple but well then again the truth of it was temple didn't really get them You need time away, said her mom. That's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was less stress, since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in their herds such big gentle beasts who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends, a thought popped in her head. These cows think like me in pictures instead. At a new school that fall, Temple found more support and a teacher who taught her, you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right. 
he had opened a door. So she built a machine like she had seen on a farm, an adventure that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked. She had done it. From memory, it's true. And just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. I'm special, she thought, like a bright shooting star. My attention to details could help me go far. Through her studies, she learned there were farms not so kind. I will help them, she said. Some solutions she'd find. And then something cool. Can you guess? Could it be? Off to college, she went. A degree. Well, she earned three. And though ladies weren't experts on farms at that time, do you think that stopped Temple? No way. She did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward. No tears. She took on the world, but at times she had fears because some things were scary like people she'd meet, who would ignore her ideas, and, well, some wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle, and what makes them moo. To build better farms was her goal, and she would do it. Be kind to our creatures. They have feelings. And she knew it. And slowly but surely, she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome design. Word spread out about Temple. Her feet's not so small. Temple Grandin. She's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now, for these things and more, she won honors and prizes. And a movie was made. But the biggest surprise is that girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker. <laughs> yes, the once silenced girl. She is now a big speaker. Today, she spreads hope with her stories and speeches from New York to Sydney, from Rome. Temple teaches. Each person is special. So unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains all of all kinds. So here is the lesson. Feeling odd or off beat? Being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back, not for one minute more. Stand tall like Temple and march right through that door. Here is a letter from Temple Grandin to you, the reader, my friends. Dear reader, as a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you are good at and working on developing it. If you are interested in becoming a scientist like me, find a cool new ways to look at things, such as a microscope and telescopes. Explore nature. Think up your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. Temple Grandin. My friends, this is a wonderful story to remind you that we are all unique. We each have wonderful abilities and our minds think in many different ways. Just because we may not think or look at something like someone else doesn't make us weird, doesn't make us um, unusable. We're unique. We find ways of doing things. Our minds are made that way. That's why we're each unique, just like Temple Grandin. So I hope you enjoyed this story. And remember, scientists, writers, 
mathematicians, teachers, everyone is unique because of the way they think, the way they learn, and most important, what they do. Enjoy your day, my friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye.